Hello, friends. Uh, you know what? You haven't seen the inside of my car yet. And I thought I would do devo No, I'm just teasing. That's not why I wanted to do the devotion in my car. Um, it's because God has done a really, really cool thing throughout this devotion. I very unintentionally, ha initially, um, have been recording my videos all in all different locations all the time. And what God has done with that is I can't sit at my kitchen table without thinking about you guys now. I can't sit on my couch, go to my office, sit in the church, um, participate in anything in the little room just off the church, um, off that narthex area. There are very few places now that I can go where I don't think about you. And I I love thinking about you and, and having that little, oh, we did devotion here. Oh, we did devotion here. And, and going back through those lessons that we've learned together. And I wanted my car to be part of that too. So um, while initially it seems a little strange that we're here, we know that we can do devotions anywhere and in a car yeah if that's all the time you have you pull out your devotion you pull out your your bible on your phone your bible gateway and do do a little bible study that way that's all the time you have um but for me i actually kind of wanted you to start riding around in my car with me so this gets to be one more place where i think about you enough of that um once again our overarching theme this week is going to be praise and the title for today is Do It Again. The uh, Bible verse that we're going to read is Psalm 51, verse 12. And it says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation. We often think of our God as the one who has created the big things of the world. The Grand Canyon, striking sunsets, inspiring mountains, the moon and the stars. But what about the little things from our maker as well? What about the giggles of children, the hugs of grandparents, the smell of rain, the crunch of snow? Wow, I have never thought about that. Good devotion. Aren't you glad you showed up? I'm glad I did. <laughs> um, author Tony Capello asserts that God creates daisies like a child. When you throw a child up in the air and set him down, the child says, do it again. That's how God creates daisies, Capello com contends. After creating one, he claps and exclaims, do it again and again and again. Like excitement, or again and again, 50 billion times and more. Our great God is still creating with childlike excitement and shouting, do it again. Each day in repentance and forgiveness, we die and rise with Christ. Each day we forgive others in his name. To us, God says with great joy, do it again and again and again. I'm sorry. Oh, I got sentimental right there. Oh, forgive me. Let's pray. Lord of all creation, we thank you today for the little things in life that we so often overlook. Instill in us a childlike faith and help us to shout, do it again, often. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to go down that road. Forgive me. Um, okay, so our Living Lent Today challenge says this. Thank the Creator today for making the little things for us in life again and again. Name those little things, share them with others, and enjoy being a child again in the Lord. And we are done for today. Thank you for meeting me in my car, and please know that you will be riding to a very lot of places with me because you are now going to be on my mind when I'm in my car. Bye, everyone. I'll talk to you tomorrow.